Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun with tarot, darling. We're going to use tarot cards to see who is coming towards you right now, Sagittarius. And so how this is going to work is I'm going to be pulling some cards, and I'm going to tell you what it is I'm getting from this person. A little bit of attributes of what they're like and, you know, their intentions coming towards you and all of this, Sagittarius. So it's up to you to rely on your intuition to figure out the details and see uh, where this these details make sense in your life. So this could be a past ex situation, darling, right? If I'm describing your ex. This could be a past friendship, you know, or maybe someone that you recently got into a fight with and haven't been talking to for a while, and you're just getting a little bit of perspective of what's going on with them, Sagittarius. Uh, it could be someone completely new coming into your life as well. You know your situation better than I poss ever possibly could, Sagittarius, so use your intuition when, when receiving this reading today, but let's just jump into this. Let's see who is coming towards you right now, Sagittarius. Uh, we had two cards come out for you, for this person, what they're like. And we have the Five of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Oh, so Sagittarius, this is a situation that I feel like someone's coming back from. I feel like you guys kind of had a fight, <laughs> you know? I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is mostly for someone that you've known at one point. You guys had a fight recently, or there's, at the very last, at the very least, the, you guys didn't end on very good terms, uh, Sagittarius. With this Five of Wands here, this is the card of conflict conflict and you know just just constant like waking up every single day and just finding something new about what finds you, what you find annoying about that person Sagittarius and then the nine of swords comes in as more so their mindset right now uh, Sagittarius of where it's like they're heavy in terms of like in their head about the situation probably about this conflict coming in here that the five of wands talks about that in hints at um, the nine of swords is those sleepless nights right they're staying up at night you know you, whether it's regretfully or not, I guess we can tell with Tara later on. Um, but they are thinking about this situation, Sagittarius. They are thinking about whatever this last kind of conflict y'all two had. And uh, let's dive into into this deeper, shall we, Sajin? So let's go on. Let's get into a little bit of detail with this. Nine of Swords, what are their intentions right now? Sagittarius. These cards are cooperating beautifully coming out. So Knight of Wands coming in in the reverse. So this is definitely coming back in rem remorsefully. Uh, Sagittarius. Hey, there's a fly in here, darling. I cannot get rid of it. But regardless, as I was saying, Saji, this is the Knight of Wands. This is inverted for them. I'm going to hold it upright so you can see the artwork. But this is the card of someone who is, you know, definitely coming in with their tail between their legs, Sagittarius. This is definitely coming in in the sense of where... Um, I don't want to say bold enough to say an apology, but, you know, this may be like a second round with something, right? There is this level of where maybe perhaps Sagittarius, they realize that they messed up and that's why they're coming in in a little more of a tame space here. I'm not getting any clues on zodiac signs or elements, though. Three of Swords coming in in the reverse, so this is now quite literally coming in with the apology, Sagittarius. The Three of Swords, as many of you probably are already familiar with, Saggy, when it's in the upright, this is a card just speaking about pain. You know, this being pain, being inflicted, or being given. So when it's in the inverted, it's bringing this sense of, again, this sense of, like, as the Knight of uh, Wands, this is quite literally a format of coming in with their tail between their legs. It's almost as if guilt has been consuming them in some way, Sagittarius, about what's happened um, from the past, about this argument, Sagittarius. What did you guys argue about? What did you guys fight about? Because whatever it is, like, even if you, even if there hasn't been communication, Sagittarius, this person has had it on their mind for quite some time about how things were ended, and it hasn't sat right with them. Queen of Pentacles coming in here. This is really, uh, Sagittarius, did you guys, like, did you guys do something with them together at one point? Did you guys have like a project or something that you guys did together? Because this is somehow like through the disconnect of your guys' emotions. This is someone who has almost been like personally affected by this in a way of like, you know, whether their finances or something in this nature where it's like their personal life was kind of impeded through this like conflict where they couldn't really do um, something anymore um, where they're like lacking or suffering in some way. I don't know if you supported them financially, honey, or what's going on, right? <laughs> uh, King of Wands in the reverse here. I'm getting just a lot of regret, Sagittarius. Um, I'm getting a lot of regret from this person. I'm getting this sense of, you know, uh, not really knowing how to approach you 
either. They are slowly working up towards this way of trying to approach you, but they see you, Sagittarius, as someone who's extremely pissed off at this time. They see you in this place of, you know, just not wanting to like approach you in the wrong way because of how things ended the last time. Again, it's just like this weird hesitancy that this person has towards you. Five of Cups, because they're afraid that you haven't moved on from the situation or that you're stuck on the situation. They're, you're stuck on the mistake that they did. And so that's what why they uh, keep hyper-focusing on this. They messed up bad, Sagittarius. I don't know what's happened. Like, this is an interesting dynamic for me to be tapping into because it's not really normal for me to be getting something in this remorseful way. Um, but, you know, there is someone that's like extremely, they want to connect with you, Sagittarius, but they're so afraid of your reaction, essentially. And then the Nine of Swords coming in again, the Sagittarius, like this somewhat, like this person is taking your absence in their life extremely hard. This person is not handling this disconnect away from you. And they, yeah, this is such a... Sagittarius, I would be saying, wait, anticipate um, a message from them soon because they can't stop thinking about this connection. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop of, stop thinking about how y'all ended things last. This five of uh, wands here. Um, so let's get a couple more cards on here now, Sagittarius, and see how this is going to turn out for you guys. How is this going to look for my Sagittarius in this connection of this person who's seemingly messed up? Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is more so, probably a lot of Sagittarius is going to be commenting down below and be like, oh yeah, this is like my ex. This is like my ex romance. This is my ex best friend. This is my ex coworker, my ex job. Something that like really hurts you and you don't really feel like y'all click anymore. And it's one of those things, I don't know if you just no longer can see them in the same way, Sagittarius, or something, but I kind of see you re reinforcing your boundaries with this person and be like, nah, this just isn't for me anymore, honey, right? We have the Two of Wands here, along with the Queen of Cups coming in as well. So their intentions really is trying to make it work, Sagittarius. So I guess my question is to you, um, what are you going to be handling this energy with? I see you in this place of where you associate them. And you're just like, I don't think this is really a match made. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. This is coming in from a person where they're just like really trying to be empathetic, really trying to... Um, connect with you and you know think about the long term about things you know probably just asking for your forgiveness quite literally um, in this sense Sagittarius three of pentacles in the reverse getting for your impression yeah it just seems like you're checked out from the situation so all I can really say for you Sagittarius is to prepare to just reinforce your boundaries essentially reinforce your boundaries because I see someone that you had a fight with is coming back into your life the giraffe spirit coming in seeing the big picture when it comes to this again another emphasis on seeing the big picture it's almost as if Sagittarius they're coming in and being like oh hey Queen of Cups Two of Wands hey see the bigger picture see how good we used to be see how things could be in the future darling and right and for you and your response you're just like yeah I am seeing the bigger picture as a Sagittarius and I see that you are not fitting for that connection with me anymore so I am piecing out from that connection right so um really interesting energies um, for you, Sagittarius. I do feel drawn to, um, let's see here. I do feel drawn, Sagittarius, just to pull a couple more cards just for you in specific as a message. Don't tell the other signs I did this. <laughs> the Five of Wands, or Swords in the reverse, as well as the Lover's card in the reverse coming in here. All right. So Sagittarius, I do feel like this is probably semi-recent that this connection has happened of where it's kind of been turmoil. You guys probably yourself have been in your head of being like, oh, should I forgive them? Should I give them a second chance? Should I move on from this? You know, you're not really sure how to handle this connection because you cared about it so much. Um, this is showing to me, Sagittarius, more so as a sign, uh, reaffirming your feelings on like why you initially left that situation, why you initially already were already feeling certain things before the situation turned awry and you had that five of wands experience where I feel like the communication was cut off after the fact, because this isn't a pleasant card, but whatever this is, this person is extremely in their head about it. And so 
And I feel like rightfully so. I feel like they really messed up big time for Spirit to be coming in such a big way where you're just like, look at the bigger picture, move on from this. There's so much uh, more beauty coming towards you. Page of Swords confirms this and where it's new communication heading towards you. Someone probably already has their eye on you, Sagittarius. You just have to be patient. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this reading brought some clarity to you, made you feel better slightly. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com, along with all my social media medias. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything is just simply Velka. I also do your weekly tarot horoscopes, Leo. Uh, why did I call you Leo? Sagittarius. I do your weekly tarotscopes, Sagittarius, if you'd like to check that out. I promise you I don't call you Leo in those readings. And yeah, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Sagittarius. I love you so much. Bye.